I'm going to show you what a 13 year old whose mom is the last one there to pick them up looks like. <laughs> so how does it feel when your mom is the last one there to pick you up? You weren't just the last one there. You literally abandoned me. I abandoned you. I'm literally four minutes late. <laughs> is the Century Farm that borders our land on two sides. outside this morning working or about ready to work in the barn cleaning up some stuff for this party we're having in a couple weeks or a week and I get a call from the neighbor that another one of the neighbor's property is loose in my yard so I want to show you what kind of property is loose this is my house behind us my yard I was back there in the barn but way down here at the end of my driveway is a cow just a cow wandered into my yard it's over there eating grass by the windmill <laughs> hey baby it's driving my dogs crazy so don don called the farmer who lives next door actually behind us he's gonna come over and collect her but it looks like a a, a tree went down onto the fence in the property next door our neighbor who lives down at the end of our driveway and the cow got through and is now just having a heyday and there's little Winnie Winnie come here what are you doing you gonna take a picture too Oops. Jay what are you doing taking a picture, taking a picture of the cow it's not every day you see a cow just hanging out in your front yard. Uh, I don't think you should go much closer, bud. We don't want her to scare her away, okay? We want her to stay over here so Mr. Gentry can come get her. Okay. Got an, Jabe's got an old phone that he uses like kind of like an iPod. So he's taking a picture with it. But how funny is that? So the farmer came over and pulled in the driveway with his truck and shortly after he got up towards the house and we were chatting for a second, the cow decided to continue wandering towards the back of our property. Okay, put your stick down too, okay? Looks like she found her way to the backyard, huh, Jim? She just smelled my shoes. She did. Now she smells like love. Now she's in the baseball field. I know. It didn't stop there. That little goofy cow kept going and going all the way through the backyard. In fact, at the end of the trees in our backyard, we have ATV paths that go all the way to the very back property line. Um, they're really fun on the ATVs, but they're not a quick little walk. So um, I stopped filming because I felt like following the farmer back there wasn't helping. And I wanted to help him make it easier and not harder. But uh, eventually, she wandered back up towards the side of the house. <laughs> Probably not. She's had a, had a meal or two. Looking for some marshmallow residue.
one of those two things. You get a gift to come back in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so the farmer just left. He used a bowl of feed to try to lure the cow out of the ATV paths in the back. She went way back in the woods there. And uh, he's trying to find the hole in the fence so he can see if he can get her to go through it. But there she is, I'm watching her. She's uh, just sitting over there by my fire pit, enjoying some uh, feed. I'm standing right here by my front door. And there's a, we have a dinner guest. I mean, I don't know if she's gonna be dinner or eat dinner, but you know, <laughs> what a fun day. Fun things, best things about living in the country right here. It's n you never know what you're gonna wake up to. So the farmer used that feed to entice the cow to walk back down the driveway and into the neighbor's property where the tree had hit the fence line and uh, knocked the fence down. And he got that cow right back into his uh, own property and then fixed the fence. But it was quite the adventure. Is this a life hack? Yes. Go tell Jabe not to splash in the tub. How was your day, Lincoln? Good. What was good about it? Did you like doing testing? Oh, I can do testing. <laughs> <laughs> Panda bear dog. <laughs>